There's an old sailor saying, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. In other words, I've got to learn to sail the weather, especially when the Chesapeake is getting ready to stir up storms. My plan is to sail down south the Chesapeake encountering gale force winds. I'm doing this while swallowing my fear, knowing the ocean doesn't like a coward. up anchor, headed south down the Chesapeake, arrived at the Magathy River, dropped anchor for the night, last one to two hours, heavy seas and wind. So it's the next day, we just crossed the Chesapeake in gale force winds and a storm. And you know, it the camera doesn't pick up what it's like and it felt sketchy going across that because we went from the C&D Canal over to Annapolis and then anchored. If it, that felt sketchy. We I did it and um, I don't have anything to judge it with if, if it gets even sketchier. So it's the next morning. So we're going to start the truck, start the generator up and get ready to go. As the wind's supposed to be today, it's supposed to be somewhere between 10 and 20 miles an hour with gusts of 30. So and it's it's sunny outside, so it should be a nice day of sailing. So, let's so the first thing we do in the morning, we start the generator up, and then there's the glow plug, and then. You start it. Well, one way or the other. So there she started. And then right here on this dial, this dial will jump up to like 16, maybe amps, 15 amps. And that knows. You can hear the inverter will click. 
and then that'll turn you know this it's charging so then these lights right here it'll say charge and then you watch that needle right here it's at 15 amps once it drops down to 10 then it tells you you're in your um, oh, float charge so you know that your battery's charged back up so I'm gonna sit here and drink coffee until that needle drops back down to 10 and that knows my batteries are charged up and we can roll So we heated up some water at the same time of the generator running. So I turned it off. Look, you see that needle? It's dropped to 10. That that means the batteries got their charge back. So we'll turn the generator off. And if I took my voltmeter, where's it at? I got a I have a voltmeter somewhere. Oh right here. If I took my voltmeter and took it over there to the engines, put it on V, so that's DC. Let's go over there and see. It should be the battery. I have five house batteries, and I have them all on. So I have them, the switch is like it's on both and both. That means all five of my batteries are all connected together. No. So since my batteries are all connected together right now with those switches, I just come over here and check off the starter to see if my bat what my batteries are charged up to. Because on I think uh, AGM batteries they need to be somewhere around thirteen point three three or something like that to uh, full a full charge. So it's anywhere around thirteen something. I'm satisfied for now for cruising. Like I'm not trying to deep charge it every damn day. 13.1. Yeah, so that's good for me because we're going to run our engine for a little bit and that'll kind of top it off some more. So let's get out of here. Let's go okay. safe. So we're going to come out the cut from March and it's right over there. That's where we came out of. So it's probably like a mile. It's a mile long. You get out, we motor out. And either you, you're just dodging crab box. And we've got wind and it's showing 14 knots. So we're going to pull out the two mains and uh, see how that works before we even try pulling the tail out. I think the two mains are good. Let's give it a shot. You could have sailed out the cut. We could have put the sails up right from anchor, sailed out. But I don't know. You let, they don't hurt to let the motor run for 20 minutes, half hour every morning. It's good for it. It needs to run because it's set there all that time. At the dock, it needs to run. The way to handle danger is to face it. If you start getting frightened of it, then you make it worse. Because you project onto it all kinds of bogies and threats which don't exist in it at all. Whenever you meet a ghost, don't run away. Because the ghost will capture the substance of your fear and materialize itself out of your own substance. And will kill you eventually. Because it will take over all your own vitality. So then, whenever confronted with a ghost, walk straight into it. And it will disappear.
So we took off. We tried to go south. And the wind was coming from the south. We couldn't do it. We had to turn around and come back. So we're going to Annapolis. And we're almost there.